What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching The Road to Beast Wars. This is just a web series. We're talking about the production of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. This is episode number 44, and in this episode, let's talk about Scourge, okay? Let's talk about Scourge, the leader of the Terracons, and it's kind of fitting because he comes as a leader class toy, and that toy leak we saw, that really, really poorly mistransformed toy photo that we saw okay that was a really bad representation of him now we're gonna see something a little bit more legit we got some more toy leak photos for you guys and here is scourge and he's supposed to be a leader class and it's very very fitting for him because he deserves that because look how great he looks look at that that looks a lot better okay Let's take a look at Scourge and let's just, uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of a commentary on how he looks. Okay, you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of a knight, you know, just like the knights in um, in Transformers last night. He looks like, like those things. Uh, but, um, and one of the main reasons why he looks like that is because, of, first of all, the color of himself. He's just all dark. He's got some, some rusty... Uh, weathering on him he's got the it's the helmet it's the face it's not the helmet it's the the it's the head sculpt which looks like a helmet that's why I think of him as a knight that looks like one of the knights from Transformers last night he's got smokestack sticking out of him he's got this double bladed weapon on his right hand and then he's got a claw on his left hand so that's really in interesting um, he's got some pretty skinny legs for a robot. Okay, I, I thought that he'd be he'd be a bit bulkier. I think that's the one thing he really needs. He, he needs bulkier legs, but let's just go with what we got. But what's thrown me off, really, even though I do like this um, this toy, is the head sculpt. I mean, why did they decide? I'm talking about head design, rather. Why did they decide to go with the Decepticon symbol-looking head sculpt for a Terracon leader? You know, uh, that's just a little bit weird to me. Now, it translates well in the film, like because based on what we've seen in the teaser, that looks pretty cool, actually. I think that's a pretty cool head design. But once you get closer, I mean, once you translate that to a toy, now he looks like a Decepticon symbol for a head. <laughs> it's a little bit weird. And the fact that he's got, like, these... um. Uh, I don't know what to call them, but like kind of skirts that go from his the bottom of his head to his shoulders, you know, to cover his neck. Now it starts looking like a, a knight, you know, like kind of like these um, uh, like these samurai wear to um, you know, as part of his helmet to to cover their their neck. Um, do samurais even do that? <laughs> In any case, um, yeah, it, it's a it's a very interesting choice for a head sculpt. The head design, like I said, in the in the actual film, looks cool. The translation towards it from screen to toy makes it look like a Decepticon symbol, which is a bit weird. Uh, let, now let's take a look at some more toy shots. Um, uh, uh, there he is posing with his double blade, which is pretty cool. I really want him to use both weapons, like really utilize them. I want him to claw somebody, you know what I'm saying? I really want him to put that claw to use. And I want him to use that double blade really, really well, like Darth Maul. I'd love to see that. Um, the back shot is kind of funny. Um, you know what? The way his back is um, folded like that really reminds me of Galvatron, the Voyager class toy from Transformers Age of Extinction. Uh, because Galvatron did the exact same, has the exact same type of back kibble where you actually fold his, um, you fold his, 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 um, the sides of the truck and then you put everything inside um, the truck after you unfold it, right? So I feel like they have the same type of design going on there. And maybe it transforms the same way. It's possible. I mean, after all, he does have the, the, the wheels on his legs like Galvatron does. So maybe he does transform the same way. Uh, we shall see. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I mean, and if he did transform the same way, that's going to be... That's going to be a, a really, I wouldn't say a complex transformation, but a transformation where you really have to really put the parts in the right place and really play with it and, and to really get all the, the grooves um, into the, um, the correct spots. Uh, but so far, I'm, I think it's a pretty decent robot mode. As for the truck mode, it really gives you the, the, the Dark of the Moon Megatron vibes because it's a kind of like a, a post-apocalyptic looking truck, just like how 
uh, just like how Megatron is, unfortunately, very, very underutilized. So, like, what was even the point of having him have that truck mode? But I really hope that, and I really believe that we are going to see um, uh, um, some really, really awesome um, um, uh, car chase with the, the truck mode of Scourge versus Optimus Prime. I really think we're going to see that to really showcase why does he have to have this type of vehicle mode, this aggressive looking vehicle mode. Why does he have to have that? It's so that he can go up, up against Optimus Prime as a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? So I really think that it does serve a purpose and you know, it is, he's not this vehicle mode just for the sake of having a vehicle mode. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Oh, check this out. So in his V in his robot mode, uh, you can take away the, um, or at least you can exchange his claw for an arm cannon. So that's pretty cool. I like this pose. This angle's a little bit better. It really doesn't show off his skinny legs more. It shows off more of his, like, his, um, I don't, it accents his upper body more. So I like that. I like this pose where he's, you know, pointing gun at his, at, uh, at the camera. So very, very awesome. I, I really do want him to see him both use his arm cannon and his claws, okay? Basically, use what he was given um here's some truck uh modes we got the front looking really cool i mean that's a pretty awesome front mode um the side like um you know there's a lot of kibble in the back uh, you can see that clearly his his feet are folded uh, but still looks very very decent um i think that that looks really really cool for the type of truck that he is i would like to see a little bit more color but that's just the way he is I, even as a like from the way he is on the screen so Lots of kibble in the back, but what can you do? That's just where to put everything <laughs> because otherwise it'd all be inside the truck, which when you look at the truck, it's actually quite small. The actual cab is actually quite small. And there you have it. I got to say that Battle Trap is still my favorite. This is going to, I believe this is going to be a leader class. Um, and it is a brand new character, a brand new design, brand new mold. So I definitely got to get this one for sure. I, I definitely want to get... All the Terracons, even though I don't know what Nightbird looks like yet, but I think this will be a great addition to my collection because, you know, we're, we're so used to seeing, like, I mean, like, uh, Megatron has come back so many times. Uh, you know, Starscream has come back again and again until Dark in the Moon. So, you know, I, I, I really want to see brand new villains. So I'm glad to see um, brand new toys coming out for Transformers Rise of the Beast, and I'm pretty excited with what we have here so i mean the legs might be skinny but overall this is still a very decent looking leader class toy for me so i'm i'm pretty happy so uh bring it <laughs> so there you have it what what do you guys think of scourge let me know in the comments section below i'm definitely grabbing him for pre-order and uh i can't wait to see what the rest of them look like so um stay tuned for more uh toy photos toy images are gonna get leaked we're gonna see official images everything is coming together guys and gals, everything's coming together. The Raging uh, Nation and uh, the the journey to another Transformers film is back. I'm back. We got a lot to talk about. Stay tuned. Stay excited because um, there's a lot to talk about. My name is Oxy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.